killstreaks have been something we have wanted in zombies for a while because multiplayer was able to have artillery strikes and chopper gunners and pretty much anything else you can think of and whilst we don't have everything from multiplayer into zombies because it just wouldn't work from a gameplay stance we finally have gotten a slice of the cake in cold war zombies so today i want to be looking at the top five best killstreaks you can get right now in zombies quick disclaimer before i even speak about this list this is all my opinion if you disagree just comment your own list down below and we'll have a discussion about it kicking this list off with a good start the number five spot is given to the combat bow now there's a few reasons why the combat bow is in the number five spot you could arguably say yes a napalm strike is probably better than this but what i enjoy so much about the combat bow is that it is cheap reliable and it can be equipped and de-equipped without losing it entirely so that means you can use this a lot more to your advantage when you run out of ammo and you still have some arrows left in the bow and it's a good thought knowing you can just keep switching between the bow and any other weapon you have which by the way is something that no other streak on this list or from any of them at all will let you do and overall i think that the combat bow is just a good oh shit i don't have a weapon kind of fallback and i'd be lying if i said this hasn't came in clutch when i've either not had any ammo or not been able to afford any just don't set yourself on fire though <laughs> Moving on to the number 4 spot, we have the War Machine. This thing is like the combat bow's older brother. It has more ammo than the bow, which is useful for obvious reasons. The only problem is you can't save that ammo, you have to use it all in one go. You can't put it away like you can the combat bow, which kinda sucks, but I feel like there's more payoffs to the War Machine, so it does make up for it. Oh yeah, this thing has big explosions, like chungus level explosions. Explosions. And because you get so much ammo in it, you can just spam it and make these huge explosions and just wipe out hordes, sometimes even whole rounds if you get the whole round gathered up. And just like the combat bow, it's extremely reliable, it can get you out of some sticky situations, but at the same time, it can put you in them just as quick because the blast radius on these things are huge. But if you are wanting to whiz through early rounds and rack up some serious kills, really fast, then oh boy is the war machine the kill streak just for you. Next up in the number 3 spot we have the cruise missile. The cruise missile is not the most expensive streak on the list, coming in at about 150 rare salvage. You get to rain absolute carnage down and in the map firebase Z, if you have a cruise missile they are so damn useful for that defense section. The cruise missile proves itself to be just as effective at killing hordes much like the war machine and one of the cruise missiles biggest features is the fact that you basically can get out of any sticky situation by the press of a button since it's an aerial kill streak you have to open the little control pad or whatever it is to be able to use it and it wouldn't really be fair if zombies could attack you whilst using it so you can kind of abuse this and keep it so that you can just open it whenever you feel is necessary and be invincible for a little bit. Really good for if you're being cornered but more about the actual missile. It has a pretty wide area of effect so you can be taking down a lot of zombies here and I think it's also just good that they're very quick and efficient to use. Moving on down to the number two spot we have the self revive. Since quick revive doesn't revive you on solo anymore there is a replacement for this now and it's literally just called a self revive kit. If you're on solo you always start with one so just play the match knowing that you're wrapped in the arms of safety from Treyarch, until you go down that is, but you can always buy more of these whenever you want, so long as you have 250 rare salvage. This is one of those things in the match you're always going to want to have. No matter how good you are as a player or how confident you are, you are always going to need, at some point, a self-revive kit. It's even worth picking one of these up in co-op. I mean, there's not always a guarantee that your teammate is able to revive you. And as you can clearly see, this teaches you a very valuable lesson that the only person you can ever trust is yourself. But really though, self-revives always have and always will be 
one of the most useful kill streaks you can get in your zombies game. And taking the crown for the number one spot, we have none other than the chopper gunner. <laughs> That rhymed. Now, for a long time when I was making this list, I was really thinking about putting the self revive as the number one spot because, you know, it's another life. It keeps your zombies game going. But not losing that self revive in the first place is also what can help keep your match going. But then you could say, well, why isn't the cruise missile at the number one spot? Well, the problem with the cruise missile is when you open it and you use it, I mentioned in the list that it is quick to use. Now, that's not a bad thing. Thing, but in the context of wanting to stay alive, it, it can be pretty bad. Say if you're cornered and you have to use a cruise missile to escape, the zombies don't really have enough time to wander off before they come back to you. Whereas with the chopper gunner, when you put it up, not only are you safe, but the zombies have plenty of time to scramble and go back to wherever they came from and just run around the map anywhere but where you are. And whilst they're doing that, you can just mow them down, okay? Not not only are you saving your life, but you are getting more kills than I think any kill streak on this list can give you. And whilst you're doing that, you're on a pretty long timer for a kill streak. And so you can think about your escape if you are in a sticky situation, or just simply enjoy mowing zombies down. I mean, the chopper gunner is so good right now, it is used for a round 100 strategy on Firebase Z, the newest zombies map right now, which I made a guide about, by the way. Check it out if you want to try it. <coughs> <clears throat> I just had to clear my throat. Anyway, that is why the Chopper Gunner takes the number one spot for the best kill streak in Cold War Zombies. So if you're in a match, definitely try and get one of these. But anyways, I'm gonna leave this video here today. That big project I said I had in the works since like Black Ops Cold War basically came out, I've nearly finished. I've just been spending a lot more time focusing on that whilst there's a bit of downtime. Now that the hype around Firebase Z is laying off, a little and I'm really excited I don't want to say too much about it but it's something I think you'll enjoy. I also have some Minecraft videos in the works as well so hopefully you all look forward to seeing those. Thank you for 600 subscribers as well that is absolutely ridiculous. I can't wait to see where the channel goes from here but if you enjoyed or agree with this list be sure to smash the like button, comment your thoughts down below, do you have your own personal list, do you think there's a kill streak on here that I've done dirty and not mentioned? If so, let me know down below. And only a very small percentage of people are even subscribed to the channel, so if you're enjoying the content on the channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turning on the notification bell too is also going to alert you the second I post a video, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.